Hello, welcome back. I am Luke Green. I'm just my third video for doing the special snowflakes thing. And in this case, again, um, I'm going to do something a little bit different than I did in the previous two videos, where the previous two videos I took on a specific case study uh, and focused on the difficult parts of that particular case. Uh, and the first was a um, the woman that had been turned into a fire, a snaky fire monster, and the second one was a were rat, and I focused on those particular case studies and did something specific. In this case, I'm going to be focusing on a general stereo uh, uh, archetype, which isn't really all that difficult to assume, um, but it is something that most people will be looking for pre-made packages of and trying to do a specific way of handling it. Now. Uh, as it comes, I am going to be doing, for the game, it's going to be Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition again. And again, this is because Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition is the newest version. I could do 3.5 um, fairly easily, but instead I'm just going to be focusing on the 5e right now because this is the newer one. And we're going to focus on ninjas. Okay, so now first thing, you have to understand what kind of ninja you're talking about. There is this the kind that is the standard black pajama wearing person with the weapons and the uh, magic and whatnot and all that uh, that is largely not a that's largely cinematic and mythological ninja not really real um, those that costume there was something worn by stagehands so that they failed faded into the black backgrounds and didn't stand out um, Jason Bourne and James Bond to a lesser to another extent are basic are versions of what you would what the ninja are the equivalent of and that's a covert ops agent or a spy depending on how you do how which direction they specialized in and there are a couple different ways to do this in uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5e we're going to focus on four of the different stereotypes and we're going to start with the more well-known kind which is the supernatural ninja and we're going to try to go over four different things each of these has. The supernatural ninja is most known for like being invisible and being able to be go around unseen. They have inhuman fighting skill. They're able to perform amazing feats of martial arts. They have impossible athletic abilities, running up walls and leaping high with uh, tall buildings in a single bound. And they have some small magical capabilities. Not very much, very specific limited. The best way to do this is the monk with the way of shadows. The long death monk might also fit. In fact, any of the monks might fit, depending. But mostly the way of the shadows. Okay, the next is the court infiltrator. This is more realistic ninja. They're more about disguise and deception, fitting in, uh, not getting noticed, not standing out. They would have great observational skills because their main job is to notice things and pass along information to other people. They are skilled in poison and assassination, though generally that would not be their job. Uh, that would be somebody else's job. They have a ability to quickly change identities as well. Again, this falls into this disguise and deception. So the best route for that would probably be the rogue assassin, maybe the mastermind. Uh, again, the assassin part would probably be somebody else. Next is the traveling performer. This is another identity that ninjas often take. Is the You have a group of ninjas as a bunch of as a but uh, passing as much as, as a circus they have entertaining skills they use their skills for entertainment they have weird talents of all of the the different kinds of ninja these are going to be ones that have the more weird and uh, fanciful type of powers they are very charismatic very cheerful usually um, especially the the ones that are the head of the, the group and they of course have hidden martial skills which they often incorporate into their performances this of course is a bard College of Swords would probably be the best one, though uh, Lore and Valor both work. The Four Shadows. This is the kind of what I would refer to as the hillbilly uh, ninja. These are the ones that stay up in the wilderness, and they formed out of uh, not samurai groups, but small commoners that got uh, exiled into the mountains and are holding out there. They are very have heavy wilderness skills. They're very stealthy. They, in the in the stories, they would have natural lore and magic. In real life, it wouldn't be magic, but still be natural lore and look like magic to people who didn't understand. And, of course, martial skill. 
of different types, especially the kind that a wilderness person would have. And of course, this would be great for a ranger, especially a hunter. Now, there's another type of ninja recently, which is the Naruto ninja. That's not really a ninja. I love Nar. I like Naruto. Enjoy. I don't really. It's okay as an anime, and you can tell what my preference is here by the photo I chose. But um, Naruto is not the best example of what a ninja really is. That's more superhero. Just they're more superheroish than uh, actual ninjas. And those are some ideas on how to reproduce ninjas in Dungeons and Dragons 5e. I can almost guarantee you that if they do a Karatur expansion, if they, I don't know if they'll call it Oriental Adventures, there's a uh, push to consider some of the titles like that as offensive, so that might not get called Oriental Adventures. But it, um, um, and there's a point to that as well. But in any case, if they refresh Oriental Adventures into the fifth edition, um, I can almost guarantee somebody's going to push for a ninja cat class or a ninja uh, or a samurai class. I focused on ninja first because it's the more likely to be picked. But to be perfectly frank, all of the abilities you need for a ninja are already in Dungeons and Dragons 5e. They were already in Dungeons and Dragons 3 before they did the ninja class. Pathfinder doesn't need the ninja class either. I mean, you, to do a ninja, you need a you, you can do rogue. You can do Monk. Those are the two big ones. Uh, Ranger and Bard are on the side. All four of those classes can be done to do Ninja fairly easily. With no really no real problem, pretty much. <coughs> so, that said, uh, this is a fairly short one compared to the other ones. I'm not, there isn't anything specifically I have to wear out. I'm just basically giving general ideas. Um, so, that's the ninja thing. Talk to you later.